Hello, everybody. It's Mr. John again. We're back to virtual learning, but we're going to make the best of it. This month, our curriculum theme is going to be ancient history uh, and learning about um, ancient communities and some of the things that were invented a long time ago and uh, that we still use today. So as an introduction, uh, I just wanted to give a brief overview of the kind of things we'll be talking about and how long ago it was. And to give for an example of that, um, we're gonna do a little little I, not experiment, but we're gonna we're gonna play a little game in our heads, and we're gonna just to get an idea of how old some of these things are. We're gonna use pieces of paper to show uh, just how old uh, some of these things are. So we're going to pretend like one piece of paper is one year. Everybody has an age. Uh, last month in my classroom, we had a bunch of birthdays. Everybody became another year older. So if we are pretending that one piece of paper is one year, this is what 15 pages of paper look like. So some of you may be 15 years old or maybe a couple years older than that. And in terms of paper, this is how old you are. The grown-ups in your life, your parents or say your teachers, are a little bit older. See, this is a little bit thicker paper. This is how old I am in paper, 35 pieces of paper, 35 years old. You may have some grandparents who are a little bit older than I am, I would expect anyway. So they may be 60 years old. So here's about 60 pieces of paper, 60, 70. So that's a little older than me and it's older than you, but it's not necessarily ancient. Uh, we can't even call the United States ancient. The United States is almost 250 years old. So older than anybody you or I know, but still not ancient. Ancient looks like something very different. And ancient looks like this. So when we talk about the things uh, that we're studying this month, we're talking about many, many, many years ago. So older than anything you or I could possibly relate to or know. But what's cool is some of these things are still around. I'm going to show a couple of videos that I'll narrate through, uh, videos and pictures of some ancient things and some actual sites that we're going to be talking about in our lessons this month. Parents, if you want to do the same thing that I just did with the paper, I just grabbed computer paper, counted out some sheets, and um, that did it. Uh, you can do that and you can have students hold the paper. That way they can actually feel the weight in years. Um, but yeah, I, it's the first lesson in the ULS, but I think it's a little better to see it in action rather than just read about it. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show, take you guys a couple of places that we are going to um, that actually show up in our texts. And one of the places we talk about is, um, or one of the things we talk about rather, is the invention of the wheel in ancient Mesopotamia, which is an area on the earth way far away from us. It's all the way over here on the other side of the planet. We can scroll this way. Jackson is about right there. So you need to get in a plane, fly over the ocean, fly over Europe, and then come down close to what the, used to be called Mesopotamia. 
And there's a city that's no longer, it no longer exists, but it was called Ur. And this is one of the places where the wheel would have been invented. And you can still go visit it today and see the main temple building, but there's not a whole lot left. A lot of it has been destroyed, taken, or just kind of crumbled because it's, it's so old. Remember the big stacks of paper that I was holding. That's about how old these bricks are. Some of them are still standing a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um, but again, this is a place that people can go visit today and walk where people walked thousands of years ago. See, they had stairs, they had arches, but this is one of the ancient communities that we are going to talk about in our lessons. The other one that I think the second lesson, we're going to talk about Egypt. And I'm going to push play. This is a video that does, uh, that does play with music, but I'm just going to kind of talk over it. So we're going this, they're going same area of the of Earth as uh, where Ur was in Mesopotamia, which was here. We're going to go to Egypt, which is straight ahead. So let's go. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to go look at, yeah, we're going to go to the desert. And what we're going to find are the great pyramids of Egypt. That's a camel, those are not the you can take a camel to see the pyramids, which are there. This is a very world famous site that you can go visit. These are thousands of years old. They're very tall. Um, and Egypt is where, the, where people began to write on paper. That's what our lesson is gonna be. But if you want, you can, Go with a sibling or a parent to Google Earth and type in Pyramids of Giza and check out things and, um, and scroll around and see how tall they are. They're very tall. They're very old. You can see ancient writing that's carved into the stones. And again, think about the big stack of paper that I held. And that's about how old these things are. Um, there's lots of information you can, and there's another camel. There's lots of information you can find out about uh, the pyramids and ancient Egypt, as well as Mesopotamia. Um, but I just, I wanted to run through that with everybody to just tell you that it, the things we're talking about this month are old. and. We're, gonna, we're using the, the paper as the example of how many years old these things are. So um, it's just a cool little thought experiment to do, better than just me, I think, reading words on a page. Uh, but let me know if you'd like some more resources, if you have any questions. And thanks for watching. Bye.